Uh, it must be a lot of reaction to that announcement made a little bit earlier on. Yes, certainly from the different political parties in the Tuane Council, but the decision has now been taken by the Gauteng Executive to place the city under administration and dissolve the council. They had a few other options. They opted for the dissolution of the council because the Premier says that would mean um, the least amount of time that the administrators would be running the city. And essentially he believes this is the non-partisan approach um, to try and explain some of the political conflicted uh, or political complex issues that uh, exist within the city. I'm joined now by the MEC of Cooperative Governance, Lebohang Maile. Uh, Mr. Maile, so you had the option of placing the city under administration but keeping the council intact while your administrators run the city. Why did you opt to dissolve the council? The, there's anarchy there. There's lawlessness. The situation has gotten out of control. And uh, it was clear that uh, the different political parties and the councillors in the municipality uh, don't have the capacity to find uh, each other and uh, it was a futile and a waste of um, taxpayers money uh, when people are supposed to be paid at the end of every month but when they are supposed to execute their responsibilities uh, they don't um, do that so um, we had to be decisive but also send a clear message that in Gauteng we are not going to allow the unprecedented situation like we've seen in Tuani. Um, I mean, there's been the, 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 the circus, a, a, a circus where every council meeting there's drama. Um, people don't want to listen to each other. And uh, the municipality is supposed to meet to deal with the service delivery issues, consider important matters as... Um, uh, delegated by the constitution and the relevant uh, legislations and the municipality has uh, simply proven that uh, it did not have the capacity to uh, live up to the expectations of the but, but we know that there is a dispute over whether or not the state of affairs is as dire as was outlined in your statement and the Democratic Alliance has, in, has announced its intention to challenge the placing of the administration in court if it believes it was done unprocedurally. So you're preparing for court action now? The Democratic Alliance uh, threatened court when we intervened. Remember it's not for the first time. We intervened uh, in December and implemented a decision which uh, required us to send directives. They said in public they were going to go to court because we did not consult. They didn't go to court uh, because they understood that uh, we had the power. That's the first thing. But the second thing is now uh, they are likely to go to court. They will go to court because they are losing all the power and the privileges that they were enjoying there. And we are not going to nest the feelings of the Democratic Alliance. We are not interested in the happiness of the Democratic Alliance. We are interested in service delivery. We are interested in uh, good governance. We are interested in the integrity of that municipality. So they can say all the uh, they, 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 they make all the accusations, including trying to intimidate me and isolate me as a person and create an impression that I'm acting as an individual and uh, without, with, uh, outside the confines of the law. That matter has been uh, uh, cleared today and uh, the public must know all the actions, all the decisions we have been communicating, I've been doing so on behalf of the provincial government. That's why it was important that today the Premier must uh, um, uh, place it on record that all the decisions and all the actions I have been uh, implementing has been on behalf of the provincial government. So this um, uh, attempt by the DA to intimidate and bully me from doing my work is not going to uh, help because we will not allow ourselves to be intimidated, to be blackmailed. We are going to do our work without any fear or favor. Well, the city of Tuane goes to elections in 90 days, and many of the people that are on the cold face of service delivery are uh, ward councillors and ward committees. Granted, some committees were not appointed. But don't you think going to elections would impact on the ability to deliver services that are much needed in Tuane? Services are not delivered by councillors. Uh, councillors are there 
um, uh, politicians uh, who also take decisions um, through a council meeting, something that they fail to do, and that's why we are, we are, we are doing that for, for, for them. Once we put an administrator in place, it means that administrator assumes all the powers that the councillors have, the legislative and executive, and therefore we relieve all councillors. We're giving them leave and enough time to go and um, do their party political work, campaign, and uh, the, best, the best party will win. In the interim, the administration will continue to function optimally, and that is why we are saying I will be announcing a comprehensive plan of action in terms of what we're going to do in implementing uh, all these, uh, or rather rectifying all these weaknesses and ensuring that there is a uh, uh, quality service delivery for the people of Tswane. And I'm sure the people of Tswane, uh, in their majority, they are relieved, they are happy, because a lot of them have been saying we are indecisive as government in the province and that uh, we are not providing leadership. So today we are demonstrating that uh, we are decisive, we are demonstrating that uh, we are interested in service delivery. And the focus now does shift to the administrators. You say you'll announce the team in seven days, but there's already concern that the administrators would be essentially ANC deployees uh, that will be sent to take over the city and restore the ANC's programs in the city that were cancelled by the DA's coalition government. Do you have any guarantee to make that uh, that won't happen? What I can guarantee you is that anybody who's going to be appointed as a part of that administrative team, they must have qualifications, proper qualifications. They are certainly not going to be a bodybuilder um, or someone who's uh, just having metric. They must have experience, they must be skilled, and they must be able to have the necessary competencies. And that team work alone. There's a team already in the municipality. This is a team just to reinforce and work with the team that is there in the municipality. No senior manager in Tswani uh, is losing their work. No one has been retrenched. The only people who have lost their work, uh, or their jobs rather, is the councillors. All senior managers remain intact and uh, they must continue doing their responsibilities. As a first step towards finalizing the program of action, I will be convening all of them this Saturday in the morning so that we get uh, a report of what is happening and we uh, craft a program. And that program is going to be realistic. Uh, it's going to speak about um, areas of service delivery, the resources that must be allocated, uh, the skills that we need, the time frames, amongst others. And that is why we can't do that sitting in Johannesburg uh, in the comfort of our offices. We have to meet with the people who have been running the day-to-day -day, um, affairs of the municipality. The municipality has got the, an, uh, an IDP, which is a plan of the municipality. So we have to look at that IDP. And we can't just uh, start afresh uh, because there's commitments that have been made. There's already pressures like the water situation in Hamanskral. We need to look at what resources are there. Let's redirect those resources. Of course, uh, I'll have to leave it there, MEC. Of course, you've outlined some of those concerns in the statement. That's the MEC of Cooperative Governance um, in Gauteng, Lebohang Maile. And the Gauteng government is firmly in charge of the capital city of Tswane. Tony. All right, thank you so much. That's our reporter, Govan Whittles, there talking to us uh, from the Gauteng legislature.